Hello everyone, today I will be demonstrating the free software from Kenwood called the ARFC D74 which is a control program for the Kenwood TH D74. You will find the, the free software on the Kenwood website, the link is in the comments below. Also you need to have pre-installed the driver for the TH D74 and you download from that website ARFC D74. I will also show you how to configure Bluetooth so you can use it with that software but you can also use it with the other software which is the MCP D74 for programming the radio. So you extract the file and you proceed with the extraction. Sorry my Windows is in French. Then you open the setup and proceed with the installation. There's only two languages, English and Japanese. So I choose English. So let's proceed with the installation. There you go, accept, again, next, next, install, and now the software is installed. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to go into the Bluetooth parameters, and uh, you're going to have a Bluetooth device. You're going to activate your Bluetooth, make sure your PC or device has Bluetooth, and from there, you will try to pair the radio with the PC. So you will need to go into the THD74 menu and you press menu and you go into the setting parameters there, Bluetooth, make sure it's on and do the pairing mode, mode. it should be detected, mine is detected, again, sorry it's in French and you just click pair, which is Jumelé in French and it's gonna pop up a number and the number is gonna show it on your radio screen but that does not work with this PC it did that on my other PC but air does not work but if you have the same thing as me you click pair and you use 40 which is the standard code and it worked it worked with the radio so I was able to pair the radio it will show connect and then it will come to pair again and I've been playing with the unit trying to get connected don't worry that's normal it won't connect until you open the software as you can see here in device manager has my bluetooth the HDV74 and we're gonna use COM3 the first one detected bluetooth there is two we're gonna use the first one to connect the ARFC D74 and when you open it you're gonna go and select COM3 and now you're gonna see the Bluetooth connected and it's gonna come lighter. Yeah, you go, connected, there you go. So it won't connect until you open the software. So don't worry if it's not showing you connected after you pair the device, okay? So now what we have is the software that is synced with the uh, radio. And as you can see, Oh, sorry, I'm gonna just switch to my external antenna because I'm in the basement. That's the bar antenna and I selected the antenna connector. As you can see, I have an external antenna, my dipole. And uh, now I have a signal and you can see I can scroll with the mouse. If you put it yourself in fine, then you can go after the kilohertz dot and just, you know, play with the frequency with your mouse. So there's not a very good condition on HF lately. It's the same thing on my base station. So don't worry. Don't worry about it. Sorry, I just knocked the mic. <laughs> but don't worry. Uh, that it's worked the same as my base station. So the signal, there's no signal that I, I, I don't copy here that I copy on the other way around. So there you go. So as you can see, it worked pretty well. And I cannot go too far with my Bluetooth because it get disconnected. Uh, there you go. If you plug the 2.5 millimeter cable, I have an adapter here. You'll be able to get the audio directly in the PC. So, but unfortunately, since I'm recording through a virtual cable, I cannot hear anything on my side right now while I'm playing with the radio. Uh, but just showing you and uh, how it works. So now that I have the audio directly in the PC, usually it's out on your speaker directly when while doing that. But in my case, it doesn't. Uh, I can hear it because of the uh, virtual cable because I'm recording it. There, may, there was another way that I could do it, but uh, this was simple. Just you get the picture. 
So I'm just gonna adjust the volume, as you can see. So my input, I'm connected to line in on a 3.5 millimeters uh, socket. So uh, the cable you need is 2.5 to 3.5 to be able to do that. And you plug it in the external speaker uh, mic uh, connector into the radio. Now, yeah. so you get the picture how it works. It's actually working pretty well. It's pretty cool, you know. Considering this is just a small HT, and we're on HF, and scrolling down, <laughs> scrolling up, <laughs> changing frequency with a remote computer. So that's pretty neat. Let's put it in full screen. Uh, I have a screen capture in 4K, so you'll get a, you know, the interface a little, a little bit bigger. Uh, there's not too much to play with in the uh, in the menu. It's the same as on the radio, but as you can see, you can play with the filter and everything. So it worked pretty well. Actually, it's uh, amazing. And remember, the software is free, so that's very really good. So I hope you enjoyed this video, so let me know what you think. You can go in the comments below or write me an email at info at va2pv.com. And 73 for now, catch you some other time.